Well, students across the state will now receive a harsher punishment for vaping at school. It's part of a new house bill going into effect tomorrow. And KXAN Sarah Alshea shares now how one Central Texas school district is preparing for that change. A vape pen disguised as a highlighter. 4,000 puffs. They're rechargeable. Vaping is a problem at Hayes CISD. Kids have used vapes and blown it in their backpacks. I've seen students use vapes and use their shirt or something as a filter to blow the smoke through. But now, thanks to House Bill 114, the law says possession, selling, giving, or under the influence. Director of Student Services Dr. Brian Dawson says students caught with an e-cigarette will have to go to a different campus for a disciplinary alternative education program. Provide additional uh, counseling, really identify also what supports a student might need as we transition them back to a comprehensive campus. The first offense is five days. The second offense would be 10 days in DAP, and then we just continue adding. Dawson says this gives districts a harsher consequence for vaping, but he's concerned about the space available in the programs. Logistically, how are we going to get if we do increase our numbers, students into the AP because there's limited seats. If the program is full, a student will be placed in in-school suspension until space is available to transfer them. So Dawson says staff will continue to be on the lookout for vapes, ultimately hoping to support students through this process. Helping that student make better decisions. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. And Dawson says last year, 125 Hay CISD students were caught with e-cigarettes and 270 students with THC pins. Now, so far this year, they found 10 students with the THC vapes and seven with nicotine vapes. You can check out the full list of state laws set to go into effect tomorrow. Just head over to our website right now at KXAN.com.